Well, Britain got its fourth prime minister in six years today as the queen formally appointed a new leader. But as the keys of Downing Street are handed over, outgoing prime minister Boris Johnson is handing over the country's problems, too. CBS's Ian Lee reports from London. Queen Elizabeth knows the routine. Her first prime minister was Winston Churchill in 1952. I have just accepted Her Majesty the Queen's kind invitation to form a new government. Good afternoon. Liz Truss is her 15th. She traveled to the Queen's castle in Scotland for her official appointment, or as they call it, kissing hands. But not before Boris said goodbye. I'm now like one of those booster rockets that has fulfilled its function. For the first time in over a century, Tuesday's formalities didn't happen at Buckingham Palace because at 96, it's a bit tough for the monarch to get around. <laughs> Lucky Liz beat her opponent Rishi Sunak soundly, becoming Britain's third female prime minister. Now 67 million people look to trust for direction. She takes the reins as the country confronts crisis after crisis. We now face severe global headwinds caused by Russia's appalling war in Ukraine and the aftermath of COVID. Britain faces skyrocketing inflation, ongoing nationwide strikes, and soaring energy costs from an escalating war in Ukraine. Prime Minister Truss is promising to turn it all around. We will put our nation on the path to long-term success. With such a rough road ahead, winning may have been the easy part. Ian Lee, CBS News, London.